three days already. It's difficult because we don't have anything to eat. We have not taken any baths and it's very hot and it's very cold in the night. 24-year-old Demario Jones from Jamaica says the journey to the border was tough and dangerous. Very, very challenging. Both physically and mentally. Physically and mentally, a lot of stress and it costs a lot of money to get here. And it, it's not nice because it's very risky in Mexico as well. With the, with the cartels, we have to pay them a lot of money to get here. He's here with his mother and a few others from Jamaica. I just want to go to the U.S. to get a work, to change my life and live a good life. Jones tells me violence is also why he decided to leave Jamaica. The reason why I leave my country because it's very violent and I have to run away because they kill my Attention to one and all, brazen attack leaves an over woman dead. A serious things are going on over right now in a wicked blood splash. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the post notification bell, share the video, and engage in the comment section. Big up to all of my supporters. Beautiful Monday evening. You are going on. A businesswoman was shot and killed after armed men carried out a brazen daylight attack at a shop along Bamboo Drive in Opel and Nova yesterday. The deceased has been identified as 52-year-old Claudette Samuels of Zion Road, also in Opel. Reports are that about 4 p.m., two men posing. As customers entered Samuel's establishment and ordered items from the shopkeeper, who was attending to other customers, the men reportedly presented a 5,000 note as payment for the goods and stood waiting for their change. The news understands that the shopkeeper walked from the shop towards Samuel's house, which is in close proximity, and asked for change for the 5,000 note. Samuel's reportedly instructed the shopkeeper that he should return to the bar and that she would take the change to him. However, as she entered the establishment, the criminals brandished handguns and held her and other patrons at gunpoint. The news further understands that the gunmen robbed her of cash before ordering the customers to lay face down on the floor. The gunmen then opened fire hitting Samuels multiple times. Two of the male customers, on seeing that Samuels was shot, ran from the establishment but were chased by the gunmen who again opened fire hitting them. The teenage girl who was traveling with another passenger in a taxi was struck in the forehead by a stray bullet. She was rushed to the hospital where her condition is said to be serious. Samuels died on the spot while the two male customers were taken to the hospital where they were treated. People. But a wicked set of individuals spread all the people on the ground. Face down. Wrap them up. And then blaze up shot into Miss Samuels. You understand, Claudia Samuels, blood leak out. The two male customers, them now, when them look and see how them things they are going, you know, them start run. Boy, them start chase. The customers fire up, be a shot. Them get shot still now, but. They are going to survive, give God thanks. Little girl now, teenager with the day in the taxi, she get a stray bullet in her forehead. That's serious right now, she needs some prayers in the comment section right now. Speedy recovery. You understand? Boy, oh, I'm going to tell you, Jano Star, them deal with the business operator drastic. That's the latest right now from out of Anova. Since the start of the year, 26 persons have been murdered in Anova. From the other day, Anova, I get from bad to worse. Anova usually calm and quiet in a minute. Talk to me in the comment section, people. Share the video.